New at 10, a community starting off the weekend on a serious mission to stop violence. St. Sabina Church held the first of its Friday night walks for peace. CBS 2's Jermont Terry live for us tonight in Auburn Gresham. Jermont hundreds showed up for this tonight. Yeah, Joe and Erica, a very decent crowd came out. You know, they started here at St. Sabana and marched down 79th Street for just over an hour. Now, they just ended about 15 minutes ago, but the message that they put out, they hope to resonate for quite some time. On this Friday night, hundreds take to the streets of Arvin Gresham. No justice, no peace. The group marches to kick off St. Sabina's annual summer Friday night walks for peace. They want to stop the gun violence and put an end to the senseless killings across Chicago. It's Nicole Driver and her biker crew's first time joining the Peace Walk. We believe in the, mo in the movement. While many will question if the walks are working, those out on this night believe it shows every shooting, every victim still hurts and deeply impacts the entire community. Let people know that we all don't tolerate what's going on in the city. Enough! 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 Father Michael Flager says when neighbors see the Peace Walk, they feel safer. Every Friday night when we usually go out, we ask them where's the tension at? Where there been a shooting? Where there's something going on? Where we have to start is in our homes. Before the march, Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton spoke to the crowd. Another key speaker, Chicago Bulls point guard, Ayo Dosume. I know I'm sick and tired of this feeling and the sadness. I'm sure you are too. The 22-year-old grew up on Chicago's South Side. He spoke about his personal story of losing a friend as a child to gun violence. It's why he stands in solidarity with so many who loved ones were murdered. I've been blessed to have so many awards, so many play for so many championships, even being able to be drafted to the NBA. But by far, this is my best accomplishment, being here with you guys, helping make the city a better city. Thank you. Back in the march, participants held signs and pictures of those killed on the streets, optimistic they can prevent others from losing their lives. And the reality of it is many people in this walk, they lost loved ones to gun violence, and many of their cases are still unsolved. Now, they believe that they want these cases to be solved, but for the most part this summer, they're optimistic and hoping that Chicagoans can turn things around and put down the guns. Reporting live at St. Sabina Church tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Well, Joe and Erica. That's what the whole city's hoping for, Jermont. An important message tonight. Thank you.